Hey everyone, it's Matthew Ogus here, legendsofaesthetics.com, chilling upstairs, and this video is a... Hey, what's happening guys? Matthew Ogus here, legendsofaesthetics.com. This video is pretty much a full week of lifting in terms of my core lifts. Uh, I didn't really film my accessory movements, although in the beginning of each day in this video, you will see that I posted onto the screen what I hit in terms of the exercises, as well as the weights, reps, and so on. So, hope you enjoy this. Um, it's mainly just overhead pressing, squatting, deadlifting, bench pressing, and lots of it. 10 sets of three for each of those lifts uh, with 85% of the training max. So it's kind of interesting. I had no idea that I would enjoy this uh, programming as much as I do. Like honestly, every single day I step into the gym, uh, since I've been doing this kind of programming, I've really been enjoying my workouts. I really look forward to them. I absolutely love it. Uh, once again, you know, it's just lower, upper, off, repeat. And I'm just playing with my uh, percentages, um, reps and sets. Uh, basically, the small of uh, type uh, percentages with the frequency that I want to hit each lift. And I fucking love it. So, uh... Yeah, 10 sets of three with overhead press. I'm resting about, uh, for overhead press, nothing too insane. Probably four minutes uh, between these sets. And granted, you know, 10 sets, that's quite a bit of time. <laughs> a workout uh, is pretty long. Like, I honestly was in the freaking power rack doing overhead press for like, uh, shit, almost an hour. Uh, you know, with my warm-up sets and all that jazz, so... I actually had to uh, leave to go somewhere. I went back to a different gym um, an hour later to finish the workout. So, got to get it in. And of course, you know, you can go back and see uh, what exactly I lifted today. Post workout meal of the gods, guys. Boardwalk Empire, one of my favorite shows. Um, I was probably watching this show during my 2011 contest prep. I probably even watched it during my 2013 contest prep. Gosh, I love this show. Um, but I got my lasagna, I got a two pound, 12 ounce burrito, chips and guac, and juice, and uh, yeah. So 10 sets of three with 85%. I actually really, really enjoy this workout for my deadlifts because each set I honestly feel like my form like gets better. It just feels like it gets better. It looks like it gets better. And um, unfortunately I didn't film every single set from the side. I filmed lots of sets from the side, so you can kind of compare uh, how everything looks here. Uh, over time, I'm trying to get more and more mesh with the bar, or in other words, just kind of really open my hips more and more over time. And I'm also, I've also been kind of slightly increasing my uh, my feet width. So I'm trying to, uh, you know, just over time, get my nuts closer to the bar or closer to the path of the bar, uh, its vertical path, and uh, just externally rotate those legs and really just put myself as close to that uh, bar path as possible in terms of my pelvis. Um, just to kind of make it uh, easier lift and so I can lift uh, more weight since that's one of the main reasons I'm doing this deadlift. I just fucking love to lift a lot of weight when it comes to the sumo. Um, in terms of bodybuilding, I'm pretty, I feel confident that the uh, conventional is a better uh, bodybuilding, per uh, deadlift for bodybuilding purposes. But, uh, I have mixed goals. <laughs> um, I, I lift for me, and uh, I just fucking love to lift a lot with uh, sumo. So that's just me. I'm uh, working my way up to 600. Big goal of mine, 600, and then you know, seeing where I go from there. But um, yeah, you can see that I, I honestly felt like each set got easier and easier and easier. And that's what I love about these 10 sets of three, man. There's tons of practice, lots of time to practice these lifts, lots of reps, uh, about four minutes or so between these sets. Currently, my my uh, lifting, my PR song is still the same, it's Signum Liberate, but the song I've been using for just regular training work, I've noticed has been uh, Drake's song forever. I basically ignore the entire song until Eminem comes up. And then, you know, he's, here they go, back in whatever the fuck he says. Stadiums, here are the shady flow. Anyways, um, yeah, I just listened to that part. As soon as that part comes on, boom, I hit it. And that's about four minutes into the song. I kind of fast forward sometimes as well. Uh, the next workout was my bench day. You can't even see the freaking plates here. But I'm using uh, 310 pounds for 10 sets of three. 
just tons and tons of practice for my bench form. Lots and lots of reps. One thing I've noticed I'm a bit inconsistent on is my back arch. Some sets I'm more arched than others. Um, it's a bit odd. Uh, then again, like this view right here, it's obviously more from the front. And that's another thing, man. It's all about angles because from that view or from this view, it doesn't look like I'm too arched. But if you look from a total side view, you'd be like, oh, damn, man, look at all that arch. So um, that's always something I bring up in terms of just lifting and bodybuilding. And man, angles, lighting, every, all the little factors come into play. Because you can see here that there's quite a bit of arch. Believe it or not, that's actually less than what I used to do. <laughs> So yeah, working my way through the sets, um, it felt pretty consistent in terms of difficulty. Uh, this workout was a pretty, uh, in terms of how I felt, I actually felt shitty going into this workout. But as the sets started coming, I felt really good, felt confident, and I, uh, a few sets, uh, a, like two sets in, I was like, this is going to be the hardest workout of my life. But when I got about four sets in, I knew that I could hit the remaining uh, six or seven. Uh, it felt amazing. So. Working my way through now, and uh, Brandon was standing behind me on, on some sets, and uh, gave me a little boost of confidence. It's good to have my boy up in here. Um, something I'm trying to fix is, well, not fix, but I really need to standardize my foot placement, and I feel like I'm getting I'm getting better and better over time. Uh, in terms of my foot flare, what direction my knees going, what direction my foot's going, and uh, I feel like this is my comfortable comfortable place, what you see right here. Uh, and you can tell that most of my sets look pretty much the same in terms of my hand grip, uh, in terms of my elbow tuck, in terms of my knees, in terms of my toes, and I'm keeping my feet on the ground uh, the entire time. So, Just the little things, right? Squat day came around. I thought I did 10 sets. It actually turned out I think I did 9. I'm not actually sure. Uh, I might have missed, like I don't think I miscounted, but I might have. And for those wondering, yes, those are Ray-Ban knee sleeves. I just, uh, for whatever reason, put them on reverse. I kind of just wanted to try that. I saw, ah, shit, I can't even remember, someone online uh, do it like that. And I just, like, all right, fuck it. I'm just going to see what happens. So 10 sets of three with the squats. Once again, you know, the first two or three sets feel really heavy, really shitty. And you, uh, or I wasn't really confident that I'd be able to do the whole damn thing. And I wouldn't say that, actually. I just wasn't very, uh, I don't know. I just wasn't looking forward to doing seven more sets after uh, the first three. And once again, you know, four-minute rest periods, sometimes five uh, in terms of this. So I'm spending a lot of time, a lot of time on these lifts. But um, I'm honestly, I, I feel like it's paying off dividends. I feel like it's paying off a ton. I'm getting a lot of practice with these core lifts. Lots of time um, with these lifts, and you guys will see a difference in terms of uh, my strength progression. And I'm pretty deep in the game now, and I've made most of my gains. Things are getting slow, uh, progress is slow, but uh, with this kind of program I've been doing, I'm, I'm freaking confident that I'll be able to keep these gains pretty consistent. Um, and I think this is probably how I'm going to train. The way you've seen me train the last couple weeks, this week, and what you'll see me do uh, in a couple videos from now, I feel like I'm going to be training this way for a while, a long while actually. Uh, here I'm wearing the uh, new Gymshark uh, fitted tracksuit top as well as bottom. Uh, it's freaking awesome. I actually trained in it and uh, it's nothing like a thick sweatshirt that sometimes like you just can't wear with your belt. But I was actually, it was almost like a regular shirt, which I really liked. Um, I think I was wearing a tank underneath, like an idiot. Uh, so I wore this just to kind of keep my entire body warm. And the other cool thing is that the tracksuit, it doesn't like keep me crazy warm. Uh, the It's relatively thin and, and flex fitting. And uh, I, I think I took it off for this last set here. But um, definitely check it out at gymshark.com. It's really good shit. Uh, and that's it. Ten sets or nine or ten, I don't know nine sets of three with the squats. Okay, guys. So we've reached the end of the video. What do you think? Is ten sets too many? <laughs> Let me know. Oh, and a quick question. Um, do you guys like how this video was in the last one, where I put a whole week of lifting pretty much into one video, or do you like me to record my workouts, perhaps even record all the exercises I do? Uh, I can do that. Um, and then the night of the workout, upload it for you guys.
let me know. I could do either which way. I could put a whole weeks of lifting or uh, single workouts into videos. And, you know, let me know what you want. A weekly video or a uh, daily kind of training video. I could do it either way. So you guys let me know. Leave a comment, please. Last but not least, gymshark.com, legendsofesthetics.com. Much love. Take care, guys. Have a good night.